apparently there is actually a secret ending. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I did look up how to do it. So, um, you know those weird like hologram kids that I've been finding around the map? Turns out that uh, finding all of them actually gets you that secret ending, so we're gonna go for that. So we're gonna go through all the chapters here and try to go for the, uh, uh, for the glitched kids. So as as soon as uh as soon as we get all of them, uh, I'm just gonna get out of the chapter and go back into the menu to look for it. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. Oh, you know what? If well, now that I played through this game and I know about all this. What if, like, in addition to the teleporting thing that you're able to do with the TVs, it was also just some sort of a... It was also able to act as a time. Like, I mean, if it's teleporting you, why not go through, like, space-time, you know? So what if, you know, like, a whole cycle of event A causes event B, and then B causes A, etc. in a circle. So what if this is the time loop? Somehow I as old Mona, which was the tall man, was able to communicate with my uh, small being self to start the trend. Six found out, dropped me, didn't realize that that actually would still help me to become the tall man. I still have this this hat, Joey, since I haven't, since I haven't been um, wearing this hat very long, even though you told me like two episodes ago to or three, depending on this is its own video. I will wear this the rest of the time. It's in it's kind of interesting. I don't know why they decided to like let you just wear the hats from the beginning, because honestly, it looked as if like him taking off his hat was a big reveal of his face. So then they had um. So and that like if you're wearing the paper bag, obviously that would make sense, but. No extra stuff here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, get shit on. You still can't get me. Yeah, I already played this, but you know, whatever, you still can't get me. Can I go behind here? Is there a glitch kid behind here? No. Okay. What about back there? Alrighty. I want this ending. Give me that ending. Give me that ending. And break this box. There's nothing here. Just more rock rocks. What? Is there something here? Is this here? Oh. Is this a hat or a glitch kid? Hat, hat. Oh yeah, there is a glitch kid. Hello. Oh, this guy dead. So these glitched kids seem to be a remnants of whatever children the the tall man took. Kind of like at the la at that uh like after six got taken and I was still in the real world like right before facing the tall man how like she had the shadow glitch her of herself leading me so it seems like whoever is whoever is kidnapped by him gets to become or becomes that glitch kid. Was that that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I got excited because he kept walking. It's not my fault. Okay, so I looked it up and uh, yeah, I had to look this one up. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Oh, 
Oh, that's a thick boy. Dang. It's, 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 it's kind of thick, though. What are you doing out here all double-cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon? Hella ass. Bro. Bro. It literally is a Thursday afternoon and you got hella ass. Alright, next level. Uh, I think... I think I picked this one up. I think this is... I found a glitch here if I remember correctly. Did I not get you? What? Oh, that's why I thought I got you. Because this was the little, like, 10-15 minute interval. This was included in, like, the 15-20 minute interval, whatever. That, um, Delirious was streaming. And I think he got you. Oh, and him having these powers could be the reason why he's here in the first place, too. Tuning into these. And six can't see this. Eh. Nailed it. Six play soccer with me. to the other goal. You ready? Gotta stop me. Hey, hey, hey. Goal. I'm bored now. Six. I'm gonna get you your own ball. How about that? You get you that ball. I, I have to guess how to jump up the other side. Look at this. Let's freaking go. Look at me. I'm a basketball. I'm a basketball six. Look at me. I think that's a basketball. It actually looks like a volleyball. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, six? What do you think? Alright, let's go. Whatever. Screw it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I really have the time to look for them myself. So I'm just going to look these up. Are you going to throw it too? <laughs> Six. Thank you, but we already got it. I was wondering if she was going to yeet it instead of me. Oh, shit, I just got murked. Oh, it's right here, actually. Is this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's when I start. Uh, hello. Oh, there's a tower. Alrighty, here we go again. It's the next one. Never would have thought to be here. Oh. I wonder what happens when I grab these, because they seem to be remnants of whatever kid they were before they were kidnapped. I wonder what happens after I grab them. Is that like, quote unquote, putting their souls to rest or something? What? I... <laughs> six! Oh my god! I didn't even know that that happened! Last time I brought the pipe in from over there! I'll probably just bring this with me instead.
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Restart from checkpoint. Yes, yes, please. I need to see that again. This is Shadow Six. I was looking for Shadow Six. That's what I was looking for. Here's the last one. Gosh dang, bro. It's not even fair. You can't even see him. It's just dust. I wouldn't have known unless I looked this up. Why? And this is literally at the very end of the level. I had to freaking... I literally had to play through the whole level in order to find this guy. Guys, when did I get this? How do I do? And it goes through the big. I went through the whole level and I forgot one. I think it's the tricycle one. Because <laughs> I think I remember like coming over here and seeing him, but I, I guess maybe I didn't collect him. Oh, there he is. There we go. I got it. Alright, here we come to the next one. The very first one. Are you here? Did I collect you? No, I guess you were the one I collected. Was this it? Oh yeah, I think I think this is where the other glitch is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's freaking goal. Should be... There he is. That's so, that's interesting. Oh wait, what if the, that's the reason why the eye is on the cheese? I'm gonna go feed it. Yeah. Oh. That achievement's called objection. It doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. It should be it. Yeah, yeah. There. All right. Yeah, we we got this six. Don't worry. I don't care that you betray me later on. I, 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 you're still my bestie. Alright, luckily I've looked up where to get these things. No joke, no. Yeah, there you go. I think this is the one that I got already. I don't know which ones I got. Yeah, I got this one. 
Oh, right, that's the one with the probe. Oh, come on. There's the next one, too, so close to the other one, even though I had that other one. Aha! Eat! Hello. Look at those big, huge... Bats? That's a rat. That's... what is that? Yeah. Six in there, I believe, what I just found here. Oh, she's actively struggling this time. That's weird. It looked like she was, like, conked out last time. Oh, maybe it is a time loop, and that's why there's a clock sound effect. theory might be correct after all. Alright, coming up on the last glitch and then I get to see that super secret ending that I haven't seen yet because I'm really curious. Awesome. I know that it's like out here on the porch. Or I mean, I'm sorry, not on the porch, but like you have to get through it through this little porch thing. Yeah. And this should be the last one. If I can get to it. There we go. I got it. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Oh, lady, like, that's an achievement. I only did that because that's what I did in the first one. There's, like, the picture and everything. Looks like interesting symbols. All right, now that we have that, actually, we should be able to just go to the main menu, and then play the end. Let's see what it is. Uh, this just means I have to do the thing where I have to find six, etc. I have to play through the whole level. You know what I just realized is if Mona really indeed has these powers, then that would explain why. Because hit Mona, as the monster, is the one that caused the TV to turn on with that blinding screech, which is why Six could hear it too. But Mona was the only one that could touch and navigate it because he had the powers. And I don't think he realizes how powerful the stuff is, which is why he didn't take on the creepy dude until, you know, the end. Oh, and maybe that's why Mono hasn't started teleporting with TVs until... Well, I mean, obviously the game physically hasn't brought TVs in, like, in that way. Um, until the end. But maybe that's why he could teleport through it, because he has these powers. And it's not, like, the TV itself that has those abilities of teleportation. It's Mono. Or Mono. Honestly, I'm going to go with Mono. Because Mono means monkey in Spanish. Alright, here we go, here we go, ending, 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 ending. Alright. What's up? Alright, here we go. Let Six and I run, she betrays me, yeah, I get the drill. I also don't think Six betrayed me because she's an asshole, and I'll show you why, now that I think about it. Because that was just one of my theories, like maybe she was just psychologically started to slowly break down because of all the things that she she does in this game. Like, like breaking the, uh... Like, wh whether or not this whole footage gets put up with just this end portion, I'll, um, I'll, put, I'll put in a clip where I just discovered that Six just goes ham on one of the clay little guys in the school level. Creepy, um, 
what's it called? And then from there, it's just her breaking all the fingers on the mannequin the arm. Oh. Are you having fun? What's up? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's fine. You do that. You 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 break those mannequin fingers. I'm just I'm a little scared honestly, not gonna lie. And then from there it's uh What was that last thing that she did? Oh yeah, where she just roasted herself on the fire after burning the doctor alive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's kinda disturbing honestly, Six, buddy. You okay? She's going through it right now, dude. It's... Okay, first the fingers and then now this the fire warmth, like it's just a casual nice fire, bro. I'm sure it was a monster, but like we just burned it. Kinda creepy. Kinda creepy, no cap, but like, okay. We're gonna get the ending, we're gonna get the ending. Yes, finally. <laughs> Give me the ending. Give me the ending. Give me the ending, give me the ending, give me the ending, give me the ending! I want the ending, I want the ending. Alright, Six, you can drop me. Yeah, pull up, it's fine. Just eat me off, I don't care about that, I want the ending. Oh, is, does it come after this? I guess? The only thing I know is that it involves six, but that's it. Maybe it involves her getting onto the mall at this in the prequel, like I think. Because no hunger, no powers, no nothing. Oh yeah, so anyways, as I was going to say earlier, I don't think six did it just because she's dropping in insanity and just, you know, losing her mind. Or is selfish. The hes the hesitation to drop me, I feel like, makes it seem like she just either had the realization there that Mono was the creature, or that, or that quite possibly she figured it out already and then was gonna help me anyways. But then thought about the re repercussions of that and hesitated and couldn't go through with it at first. Hey guys, really quickly, uh, I just finished editing this little section here and. Uh, I just thought of another possibility like I know I'm sure all, most of you have probably already clicked off the video right now but I, either way um, so the other thing is I just realized while editing this is what if okay hear me out what if like six didn't even know that I was the tall man or anything necessarily but um, somehow that that um, glob like sentient tower slash universe thing of eyeballs or the tall man communicated to her like you know telepathically or whatever and or even just before turning her into the monster that if mono comes to save her and they're going to escape in order for her to be able to escape like they'll let her go but in exchange she needs to submit mono so what if instead of tr knowing that he was the tall man killing him to try to stop it but unwittingly putting him back into the cycle what if he tr she tried to save herself but then put but then um but then started the cycle out of self-preservation
stuck in the same room for however many years? How does he get that, that, you know, that clothing that's big enough to fit him in the hat? It's a big hat. Give me the ending. Give me the ending. Come on. Give me Six's ending. I wanna know what happens with Six, or Two Six, or whatever. I just know that I end up all Six. Gonna show her going to the mall. Ooh, she's gonna come out of the TV. I'll be quiet. That's her first hunger pain. That's the same shadow six figure that appears in the maw too when she, every time she eats. Oh my god. Okay, so let me get this. Okay, so the timeline here. The timeline here is first everything that happens between her and Mono. And then when she's turned into a monster by either the tall man or the or maybe that maybe the universe it's that little dimension thing itself turned her into the monster and then maybe her being into the monster is what caused her to to you know have those hunger pains and those issues because she hasn't had any at all until that moment And it's she seems shocked by that, and then the, that little apparition of her shadowy self that originally came to life when the tall man kidnapped her. Maybe those shadowy selves just stood in one place because those are the kids' like darker halves that were taken, but they just were inactive and never did anything because they're just a shadow of what's left, and the other kids either died, got eaten. Or like either got eaten somehow died or turned into a monster like six was but because six was brought back into the world and brought back to six maybe that little dark half was maybe that dark half is the one that's like encouraging or yeah ma wait maybe that her little dark half like that little tv remnant is even what caused it it might not even be the dimension or or the uh or the tall man it might just be six's little shadow thing i don't know this is all blowing my mind but okay so first all this happens with mono she comes out her little monster her little monster self slash tv remnant is there she points out the moth flyer to six disappears but obviously we know that uh it sticks around and then in, in the comics is when she's out in the open like surrounded by monsters and then in her darkest hour of need which i think is the lore reason that one fairy tender i don't know what it's called like comes over picks her up takes her to the mall and that's when all the events of little nightmares one happens complete spoiler for the ending uh for little nightmares one obviously but 
Um, when she eats the lady, that seems like... And like, she got her powers, but then there's also that little remnant ashes. Maybe it's that same magical energy, because those little, like, black ashes aura type thing are around the little glitches that Mono finds. finds that Mono finds. But then... So maybe it's the same type of magical energy that the lady has, which is why everything involving her magical energy has those same effects. And then... And then when Six cannibalizes the lady, that's when she has her little effects there too. And then I saw, I can't even remember the name, I want to say it was the Gaming Beaver, but someone had pointed out that that little dark remnant was there for every single time that Six eats. Anywhere from the bread to the gnome, but it was not there when she cannibalized the lady. So maybe that magic was able to shoo it away. Or maybe it's like in addition to her succumbing to that. Or maybe the magic reintegrated Six and that shadowy self, which is why. Which is why the shadow isn't there. And now Six has all that power because she's A, reintegrated, and B, the obvious reason because she consumed the lady and ate her. And gained her powers meaning that she would have to be the host of the mob which was the lady's rule ah, wow all right this is awesome it was honestly definitely worth all that time that i spent trying to get those glitches which were very very um i'm gonna say that it took me much more time than it should have definitely in order to get that but wow that was awesome um so yeah there's the ending um thanks for watching if you did and if you got it this far um yeah that's that was insane okay bye everyone wow